Let's get an update to the breaking news we've been covering since we came on the air today. A police chase ended in the middle of the 71st Street Bridge over the Arkansas River. And now we're learning a lot more about how it all started. Two Works For You's Micah Hatfield is live with new information on the suspect arrested. Micah. Hmm. Hey, good morning, Corey and Erin. The pursuit ended here on the 71st Street Bridge uh, thanks to OHP, but it took several agencies coming together to actually save a kidnapping victim. Take a look at some of this exclusive video we got of the suspect being arrested in Catoosa just a few minutes ago. Tulsa police say the victim was kidnapped during an armed home invasion in Catoosa where the suspect had a knife. Officers tell us the two did not know one another, but they were in the car together for miles as the suspect led police on a chase from Catoosa to South Tulsa. The move OHP eventually used flipped the car, and while the car was upside down, officers tried for five to ten minutes to get the suspect to surrender. Police say he wouldn't, so they used pepper balls and a taser, eventually getting both the suspect and victim out. Take a listen to what Tulsa police had to say about this pursuit. We're not really sure at this point what his plan was, but we think it's very likely that we may have saved a life. That victim was taken to the hospital with injuries that are not serious and the suspect was arrested. The officer we spoke to did not know at the time if the suspect was armed. We don't know his name yet, but we are told by Tulsa police that he will likely face a kidnapping charge in addition to several others. Live in South Tulsa, Micah Hatfield, two works for you.